All right. Welcome back to Blue by 90. I'm Justin, joined by Jack and Caitlin as always. And it is officially March. I think I said it on the last podcast that it is March, but I feel like it doesn't actually officially turn to March until the NCAA tournament is on. And we've got a bracket. We're here. Michigan's in. I've got a tall glass. I'm going to cheers. Cheers, you boys. <laughs> The Michigan being in the bracket. Cheers. Uh. It feels good. It feels good. Pepsi. Not on the not in the first four. We are in the whole bracket, the real bracket. Unlike I feel like there was <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't long ago that I was like, "That it doesn't have a theme. What is this guy talking about? I, now I, I'm humming it. Yeah. I sent you guys that TikTok. That the guy was like, oh, what are you listening to? And the guy's like, oh, the CBS theme song. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, but it's, you know, there are some teams out there, maybe within the last, like, year or two, that only got into the play-in game and then lost, but that couldn't be us. That couldn't be us. Uh, like, maybe that team was from Michigan. They were from, like, you know, just a bit west of us, uh, but then they lost, so they didn't really make the tournament. But, you know, we're here. We're in the tournament, 11 seed, not on the not in the playing game. So that seems like it's exciting and important. Were you, like, fucking around for, there for a second? I couldn't tell if you were like trying to like throw shade at like another school or if you're like being real. I, I, I would never throw shade at anybody. So I, I feel like no you're doing it again. About. You're doing oh. it again. You're confusing me, and I don't know what is happening. Okay. All right. Well, I yes, yes. So okay. um, to clarify for Jack and any and the, any other dum dums out there, th- yes, uh, Michigan State only made the the play-in game last uh, year, and uh, they lost. Even Ooh, though their their you know their fans are going to say, oh, we lost to the same team that Michigan lost to, we lost to the team that went to the finals, blah blah blah. You still lost, so you, it doesn't really matter, and like <laughs> you can't discount all the other games too. So, um, anyways, you know, I I don't want to be the guy that's obsessed with another team because that that's what a lot of Spartans were doing yesterday too. <laughs> but here we are. All right, um, let's let's start the podcast now. So, (laughs) so, (laughs) all right. So Michigan makes the tournament. Were you guys sweating it out? Be honest. I wasn't sweating it out because I knew at the, I was confident in at the very least they would make a playing game. And if they made a playing game, then they're just playing a day sooner than they would have been playing. Right. So win, win. Yeah. I was more like surprised because I thought they would be a playing game. And then I saw them all of a sudden like in the thick of things. And I was like, what the hell? Yeah. Kalen, Kalen and I were at Wolverine and uh, like when it came out and literally everybody was like, Whoa, <laughs> like, everybody, <laughs> Oh shit. Did not expect that. Dude. Same. I think that everybody, especially so in the last two days of the conference tournaments, um, a couple teams, won, like Richmond uh, beat Davidson, which Davidson was already in. So Richmond got an, an extra bid. Um, Mm -hmm. some other teams won and so it just like it was kind of wild and it was like it felt like every and every championship game Michigan was like inching more towards the being out line right and then all of a sudden this happens and I'm watching the same thing I'm watching the selection show I'm like oh shit like all right here's the playing game this has got to be us and then the other one all right here's Mm -hmm. the playing. I'm like well where are we then and then they show up just as an 11 seed and like, all right, I'm not trying to throw shade at Colorado state. I, I think they're a very good team and we'll get into Colorado state. But like, if you had to pick any six seed out there, you'd probably pick Colorado state, right? Like you, they got a good draw just by the name of the team. Like, I'm just going to be like, not looking past that. Cause I think that that's what, half the fans of the NCAA tournament do is just like 
you just looking at the team, like nobody's like, oh, yeah, Colorado State basketball, they're a powerhouse, right? Like you're pretty excited about that matchup if you're Michigan, I think. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Just from the name alone, like I'm not too concerned about who their opponent is, but then you do some research, you look at their record, you see why they're a six seed, you see some of the guys that they have, and then you're like, oh, shit, like this is a team that we should be worried about. So uh, I'm just trying to find <clears throat> Michigan's bracket. Yeah, there might be more here than than there seems to be on the surface, right? Like, you hear the name, you're like, what's their mascot again, right? Like, but you start doing some research, and you're like, okay, they, they might be legit. There might be some reason for this. Well, hand up. And honestly, I think it's like, that's kind of a tough bracket. Uh, I agree. Let's We'll dive into the bracket in a second, but hand up. I am a dummy. I yes, tweeted out that, that they only played two tournament teams. I think they beat like five tournament teams. So, um, I, I mean, perfect example of just people being stupid, and that's me. So, um, you know, th- I'll own up to that, but I still stand by that it was – I think I think that all in all, hard bracket in terms of the region as a whole – but if we're talking about just the first game in an 11-6 matchup, I think that we got a pretty pretty good matchup because here, here's why I'll say that. All right, so the other six seeds, first of all, we're I mean, we're j- just pumped to be an 11 seed and not be in the first four. So there's that to start off. The other seeds are LSU, Texas, and Alabama. Those are the other three six seeds. Now, I would not have minded playing LSU because they literally fired their coach, Will Wade, finally, like two days ago, because he's been cheating for the last, past five years. But outside of that, like I think that they got the best matchup for their first game. After that, I don't think it's good matchups for Michigan. Yeah, after that, you got Tennessee right away. Then you've got <clears throat> um, Sister Jean or Ohio State. Or Villanova. Who would you rather play there? Gun like, to your head, who would you rather play there? Uh, Ohio State, 100%. Really? Sister Jean has the power of the Lord on her side. We already took her out. We took her out three years ago, four years ago. Yeah. I mean, we took out Ohio State this year. Well, that's like that matchup is basically like devil versus angel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to agree with. I was trying to figure out what matchup you're talking about. I thought like M- Michigan versus Ohio State or Michigan versus Loyola or Ohio State versus Loyola. But yeah, no, Ohio you, State you versus Loyola is, is yeah. the devil versus the angel. I got to remind okay. me, I got to tweet that out tomorrow. Okay. That'll get some numbers, I think. Okay. <laughs> remind yourself because I won't be able to. I won't. Yeah. You already me. didn't remind me of one thing, which. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to pivot real quick. Reminder. Pivot. 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 So we are going to the Red Wings U of M night on April 5th. Right? April 5th? Couldn't tell you. April 5th. So U of M night on April 5th. They're playing the Boston Bruins. uh, So they're doing a whole thing with the uh, University of Michigan night. You can get discounted tickets. You get a free Red Wings. April 5th. Maize and blue beanie uh, that has the M on it as well. It's a sick beanie, actually. Like, I need that beanie real it bad. fire. Um, we actually had some people on Instagram that were like, hey, how can I get this beanie right. uh, specifically? Which you can get just the beanie. You just got to buy the cheapest ticket. ticket. Cheap, buy the cheapest ticket, and then they'll, they'll like, mail you the, the beanie uh, is what our guy said. So, um, so. We're all going. We got hooked up. We're we're pretty pumped about it. Um, if you want to hang out with us and meet us there, we're down. We'll go probably pregame at some of the bars down there. Um, Great shipping company, game. baby. Absolutely. God, I'm so excited for that. Founders is right there too. Absolutely. What a great area. Um, and then you also, I think it's a – who's the uh, bobblehead? There's a bobblehead giveaway oh, that fuck. night for – for the first like 7500 game uh fans too. Is it a current um, guy or a or a past guy? It is 
Darren what? McCarty. Yeah, Ooh, okay. love Darren McCarty. I mean, just a goat for the wings back in the day. Just a, I mean, I almost made a joke Ooh. right there about <laughs> our coach, but I'm not going to. Uh, oh, but <laughs> sorry, too soon. I'll, I'll be honest; I don't even know which coach you're you're talking about. Too soon, too soon. Darren McCarty, Darren McCarty bobblehead giveaway. Darren McCarty's always there too. He's on like Woodland yeah. Sports or something. He is, yeah. But uh, uh but, we got to get our. We're gonna have to get the Wings by ninety gear ready. Have to get ooh, our hoodies out by then for that. Good call. That'd be good call. fucking sweet. All right, yeah. So if you want to go to our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, we'll throw it out uh, the link on there. You can buy a discounted ticket, get the beanie, get it all right there, and you can come meet us uh, there as well. So we're excited for that. Um, all right, pivot back. Pivot, everybody. Can you guys pivot? Pivot. Um, pivot. Do I need to like literally move? Yeah. Pivot. Pivot. <clears throat> all right. So pivot back. So all right. So Colorado State versus Michigan. So let's go down to the. Let's like break it down a little bit. So Colorado State, as you said, Kaylin, not a bad basketball team, right? What do you got there? They don't. I mean, I'm not like super deep in it, but. Honestly, they don't seem to be too bad. I mean, they've been like a top 25 offensive efficiency team. Um, I mean, they, they're 13-4 and four against quad one and quad two opponents. What's their Pretty quad good. one? That's really good. <laughs> yeah. What's what's their quad one? Oh, jeez. I'd have to dig into some of this. To I mean, still quad one, quad two, 13 and four. I mean, that's huge, think, but it also could beat, be like they they're Saint 0 and Mary's. four against quad one and then like 13 wins in quad two. No, they beat St. Mary's, who's the only team that competes with Gonzaga and the WCC. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I know that they beat, um, they beat Boise, Creighton, Creighton um, Bo- Boise State sweep, uh, Wyoming and San Diego State splits. Fighting Brady Hope. Mississippi State. Bradley is uh, always a, that's a really good program out there. I mean, is that it, the guy's name or the university? Well, it's just one guy. So they played him twelve on one actually, and then interesting. Yeah, so they did win that one sixty six sixty. He put up a fight. It's pretty good. He did put up a fight. Um, I'm impressed by you, Bradley. <laughs> So, I mean, I listen, I as much as like I knee jerk reaction was like, wow, this is a great matchup. They're they're a good team. They're a really good team. So when you dig into it a little deeper, the the thing is that they have two absolute dogs, one like real, really good dog. Like people are saying he's one of the best uh, players in the nation, David Roddy. 6'5", 250, and he, I think he plays guard. So he yeah, plays he's like a fucking the, guard. <laughs> yeah, he plays like the two or three. So that means that we're going to put, like, either Eli on him. <laughs> like, I don't, are we going to have to throw in T-Will? Like, Probably. I'd say T-Will and maybe Caleb Houston or T-Will and Brandon Johns or something. I, I worry about – I mean, I think it'll be – they'll probably put Houston on him right away, but I – I worry about him. He's just going to back down Houston all day long. Yeah. So Roddy. I wonder if you try to put T-Will on him. They might put Moose on him. Moose, like is, Moose like is too long. 10? I mean, he's still going to body body up Moose. I think you got to put somebody that's got meat on him. I, I wouldn't doubt if T-Will plays like 20-plus minutes this game. Really? I hope I wouldn't so, hate it. Honest, yeah, I, I wouldn't hate it. What about even like Brandon Johns? Yeah, I think that's a good one. Depends too. which Brandon Johns shows up too. Yeah, but dude, we don't need like in this game, you do not need Brandon Johns to be like a force on the offensive side of the ball. If you say, hey, Brandon Johns, all we need you to do is stop this one guy. I think we can count on him to do that. And if he and yeah. if here's the thing, if Brandon Johns gets four fouls in the first half. Okay. Right? Like can live without I, him. 
I exactly. Then you do the same thing with <clears throat> Will. I think you just like throw you you make the rest of their team beat you is what you do. Okay. I mean, what are the Kalen? You got the stats up for these guys? I got a couple articles up, but let me see if I can get some stats. If you get some stats, look up uh, who so, their other like big names are, because I, I I've got this Roddy's guys stats well, so up, and he's fucking like yeah, I like I don't go know. Go ahead what. with Roddy's stats real quick. Well, so his freshman year, he shot nineteen percent from three. Sophomore year, he shot twenty eight percent from three. This year, he's shooting forty five and a half percent from three point. So that's where I that's worry. Insane. Like, think about that's a like guy. Think, that's like I could, like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go play basketball, but I'm gonna start playing left handed, and then I'm just gonna keep practicing. Like, that's how much he's improving. It's like, how do you improve that much? Did he just start playing basketball in college? I don't. I have no idea. At least just from shooting. I mean, that, that's just insane to me. I mean, the thing that I worry about though is he can play inside and out. So Michigan at the three or two. Has nobody that can do that. If you tell me that last year, I say we put Isaiah Livers on him, and it's a it's a no issue. Oh right? yeah, I agree. Yep. This year or Franz Wagner, or Franz, Franz Wagner yeah. can play him inside and out, no problem. This mm-hmm. year we have a big issue. Yeah. So the second issue is Isaiah Stevens, who's their other guard, who scores fifteen a game, and he's probably going to be their actual point guard. And then Roddy's like the secondary guy, but I, I, I just here's so those two guys are going to get theirs. I think you have to just say like those two guys are going to get theirs. You make everybody else beat you, right? You're like, hey, we're we're gonna go down double team that guy. Actually, I love how Michigan has double teamed in in the conference tournament. They came over. It was actually more when Martelli took over. They started double teaming almost every post guy, and then they in a zone defense. And then they they you know if the guy uh, kicked it out, then they recover it as quick as they could. I think they try to do the same on on Roddy if he goes down low, make him kick it out because they don't have anybody. I don't think like over like six seven or something like that. Over wow. six nine. Six nine is it? Yeah. So I I mean you absolutely have to just go to Musa and Hunter then not right. stop, right? Yeah, I think so. That's like uh in football, right? Run the damn ball. What do you do? Feed feed, feed the damn feed, boys. Feed I don't the know. Dick. Feed the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> put that on a shirt. We should put that on a shirt. Mm. I'm yeah. I Feed ahead, new stick. <laughs> Nobody? That's not funny? Uh, I laughed. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, Sorry. I, I said feed moose stick. Moose dick. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I saw that somewhere. <laughs> Dude, this Isaiah Stevens guy, though, he hits like 50% of his twos and like almost 40% of his threes. I mean, th- those two guys are a hell of a one-two punch. Hell of a one-two punch. Yeah. But that's where you get in March, I think, where like there are so many times in March where teams let one or two guys uh beat them. Like back in the day, like that's usually Steph what happens, Curry, right? Dude, Steph Curry at Davidson went yeah. to the Sweet 16. He was the only guy, you know, like can we talk know, about how Foster Lawyer is going to have a Steph Curry like run against oh Michigan State? Boy. Oh boy! Oh my God! Don't get me started. I'll tell you what. I was so happy. We were we were sitting there with our buddy Joe, who's who's a Michigan State fan. He's like, God damn it! I can see it now. Foster's <laughs> going to drop thirty on us, and that's how we lose the game. Like that would just be the the most entertaining thing. Like Michigan could get blown out, and I'd be like, it was still a great day because Foster Lawyer just like obliterated Michigan State. I think he's either going to go for like three points on like one for nine shooting, or he's going to go off for 30. Dude, Patty watched him play in high school and he was like, dude, I think this guy's like the next big thing. Everybody thought that. Yeah. I'm like, then he, he just couldn't, he couldn't, he was just too, he wasn't physically 
built enough for the Big Ten. But I think when he plays in the conference that he does now at Davidson, then he then he can dominate. Uh, I, I thought he was hitting that game winner too. Dude, same. Against Richmond, I was like, let's go. I'm a foster lawyer stand now. Same. I hope that he has a – if if foster lawyer has a revenge game, the oh. number of Spartans that will absolutely melt down, <laughs> I mean, it would be unreal. Oh, God, it would be the greatest thing ever. Heather will be pissed. Oh, your your house might burn down. Oh, it might. It might. So, all right, back to Michigan, though. It does look they, – they have a 6'10 guy, uh, but he's a freshman. He gets six points a game. Like, I just think that the 6'10 guy from New Zealand is I, – I just don't see him doing anything against Hunter Dickinson and Musa. I feel like people from New Zealand are just too nice. There's no way he can be physical. There's their other guy is a six nine forward. He's a sophomore that gets five points. Like, think about Hunter Dickinson and Musa, who Hunter averages what? I don't I don't even know what he averages at this 13, point. Thirteen, maybe. Yeah, I mean, 13, he's 15. had how many times has Hunter had 20, 20 plus? Yeah, you know, Three times a this lot. Year. And he's just gonna go to work. I have to imagine. Hopefully, he doesn't have the shits. You know what happens? I it feel does. that. I do. It does happen. The amount of times I've done that in my life is just, it's, it's, it's pretty incredible. Are you talking about pooping your pants? Yeah. hundred <laughs> percent, dude. <laughs> like it's stupid. It's really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have just <laughs> tell you this is what I'm here for. Oh shit! It's the only reason I'm on this podcast. Here's the thing, though. I was I, I'm going to tell you a story about my dinner table tonight. So Jacqueline and I are having dinner tonight. Man, I we I ate pizza literally every meal this entire weekend. That's incredible. It it was great, but it also doesn't do well with my digestive system. You'd no, be surprised. Dude. I know it's kind of crazy to to hear that. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. So a little bit of constipation going. Monday mm-hmm. hits, and then it's like floodgates are opening. You know. Yeah. Start drinking some water for the first time in three days, and then it's weird how that helps your your uh, systems. And Dude, so, pizza hits me with the opposite reaction. Like, I don't get constipated. It's just like waterfalls coming out of my pants. <laughs> Mine is I I won't poop, but I'll just have farts that reek so bad for like I mean once every five minutes. If that yeah. like somehow this all has to do with Michigan basketball. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for Road to tie it back in. Yeah. Well, we'll. I mean, Hunter Dickinson. Obviously, he had the shits. I I I don't oh, know right. if he had that's the how he got on this fucking conversation. Yeah, <laughs> so hopefully he's good to go. I don't know if he was good to go against Indiana. He he was like a game time decision. He did not look like himself. So I hope he'll be all right. Yeah, hopefully he's fully recovered now. He was probably pretty fatigued from. Yeah. What about those, Indiana being in the play in games? Like, well, here's the thing: Indiana was nowhere near the tournament. Until right. they fought the their way to that playing game. And then they just like they beat us. They they like if Michigan doesn't collapse, there's no way that Indiana's in the tournament. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I don't know. It's it, it's it was kind of a cra- I mean, but that's what is so great about the Big Ten tournament, honestly. That's what's so awesome about it. Yeah. So all right, so this is going to be our pod before the uh, tournament, though. So I, I need to hear some predictions. What we'll do is we'll do some predictions for the men's team here, mm. and then we'll talk some women's team because – Let's go. Tailgating season is back, baby. We're playing at Chrysler. Chrysler, the wait. Maze Rage is back. We It's all back. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Are we going to try to get a class uh, – uh, a spot closer to Chrysler? For this tailgate or what? Or are we gonna try to stick where we're at? I think I think we try to get I think we hit up KBA and see if we can get her spot. 
her parking spot. I'll ask her. Perfect. That's my homie. When we walked in the other day, Juwan's spot was open. We should, we could have just parked there. God damn it. If only he was suspended for He might be. I mean, as long as the boys keep winning, They're gonna be on the his road. spot will be available. Well, he's probably parking there, and then they'll take the bus. God. Come on, Juwan. Help us out here. We can probably um, but even All like right. I think that uh that like Hold first on. spot when you drive in, that'd be perfect. First spot when you drive in, like right on the corner. Yeah. I like that. That'd be sick. I like that a lot. Um we'll see when the when the lots open. But all right, first before we get to the women, predictions for Thursday. Twelve fifteen game, by the way. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, I hate it. And here's why I'm off work at 1230 and I'm like, I don't want to start the game somewhere and then finish it somewhere else. And it's just like a whole thing. It makes me uncomfortable. So I, I hate it. And that's why if I had the day off, let's say it was a weekend or let's just say I had the day off 1215. Totally cool with it. Earlier, the better. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of those weekday afternoon games just because i'm at work but then you add on top of that it's like saint patty's day so then i'm like at work trying to like not let anybody see me putting like schnapps in my coffee or something you know (laughs) and i'm trying to watch the game it's like it's too much at once i hope Mm -hmm. your boss is not listening but it's okay (laughs) it's regular coffee Um, regular coffee see (laughs) schnapps is a it's like it's a new keurig flavor (laughs) (laughs) yeah they should come out like if they were smart they come out with like some bottles that don't look that look like a coffee flavoring thing or something like that. Yeah, that's what they I told you. Do. Just hide it in a coffee cup. Nobody knows it's in there. Premix incognito. Yeah. yeah, check the shop. You might find something good. Yeah. There you go. Um, my only thing that I would come back at you guys is the other option. MSU plays at nine forty Friday night. Yeah. No thanks. Nah. That was that. We're was too old Michigan. for that now. That was Michigan in 2018. The the Houston game where the Jordan Poole buzzer beater that was incredible. Was I was thank God I was in Vegas, so oh I saw it at seven o'clock. But that game didn't tip off until like 10:15. So in Ann Arbor time, in Ann Arbor time. So it, like I'll take a 12:15 game. Also, it's just like. You kick off the tournament. I kind of love that, that like all eyes are on you like right away. Oh, yeah. Um, you're Because like after, so there's a 12-15 game and a 12-40 game. After 12-40, there's like eyes just are mayhem. Yeah, right? it's just like, mayhem. Yeah, but like for, for 20 minutes there, we've got all eyes on us, which I think is kind of cool. We're the what's, uh, what's the move for, for Thursday? I'm thinking beat-ups. I'm thinking beat ups. I was Which talking to Lexi. The Ford Road beat ups. I'm thinking. Ford Road. I'm in that's what I live in Canton. Oh, you yeah. fuckers! Come on, come to exit 183. <laughs> <laughs> the last place I want to be is Ipsy. I'm Why sorry. town? Why town? The Ipsy beat ups. No, thank you. Oh, God, dude, my shoulders fucked up. I think like a tore something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you lifted one time. Yeah, dude, it's like an. In- I've had my shoulders been fucked up for like five years. Dude, That's why like I got fat. That's what I'm gonna blame it on. I got fat because my shoulder broke. Oh, <laughs> you got fat because your shoulder broke, but yes. that had my nothing story, to do with your to legs it. and being able to run. No, nope, it's it's a whole mental thing. You wouldn't understand. Mental thing. Yeah. Um. No, I was talking to Lexi, and she's. I think we're gonna meet up at uh. At uh the beat up. So, if you Here want to. I don't know, dude. It's a long drive for me from Ann Arbor getting off work. I think it's a real little un. Uh, what do you un- want me to un- do? Thoughtful. I want you guys to come to uh, Ipsy 183. Let's meet in the middle. We go to the Moose. I could take you guys to the Moose Lodge. <laughs> real excited now. Dude, I think I'm going to go to the Moose for the game. Oh, that'll be fun. All right. <laughs> We're off the rails for sure. Okay. Yeah. Keep um, it. Keep it. All right. Bring us back. All right. All right, we're all back on the rails. Predictions for Thursday. Michigan at Colorado State. Not at. I don't know who. Yeah, no. Well, yeah, they're the home Indy. team probably. 
Well, yeah, but it's in Indy, right? In Indy. So it's totally going to be a uh, – a Michigan, Michigan, a Michigan um, crowd. Crowd. What do you? What's the line? I think it's anybody uh, know. Michigan by four. That big. Check in. Um, according to. I got plus two and a oh, half. Oh, yeah, two and a half. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry, minus two and a half. Michigan. Yeah, I got minus two and a half uh, on the spread, minus 145 money line. Mm. I mean, here that that cracks me up, to be honest. Michigan. I re- oh, how is Michigan possibly in? How do they have the, – how are they an 11 seed? Oh, and then they're favored by almost three points. Like, favored in their first game. Like, right. Okay, they're a pretty fucking good team then if Vegas thinks they're favored. like It's just which team's going to show up, right? Well, If, you know, everything goes there. accordingly, you know, win one, lose one, Michigan wins that game. And I'm going to base I... all of my faith on that. All right, I'm going to start. I'm going to start the picks here. If I had a gun to my head, I 100% think that they are going to win one, lose one. I mean, it makes so much sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Not just, only uh, just with what the, they've done, keep but just like, what they've done this season. With what Tennessee, they've done, I like that Tennessee the team. I think they're going to be my team this March Madness. Tennis. Oh, so you're rooting for Tennessee in the second game? Falls by ninety, baby. Here, get out of here. Here we go. What I'm saying. Just saying what. I'm rooting for well, if if I mean when they beat Michigan, you just said they're gonna lose a game and they're gonna lose to Tennessee. So after that happens, I'll root for Tennessee. If they're playing Michigan, I'll root for Michigan. What do you like? You said it, not me. I said they're gonna be my team because I think they're gonna beat Michigan, and that's the only team that I've left. Oh, so you have no faith. You just said that they were gonna lose that game. <laughs> <laughs> Making me so angry. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're I talking about. So fucking. All much. right. So that's my prediction. I I actually think, knock on wood, I think that Michigan wins this one handily. I do too. Weirdly enough, I think I think I think, I think they just take 20. care of business. Yep. I think Hunter scores twenty. I think Musa scores fifteen. I think that 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 this Roddy guy probably has twenty five, but the rest of their team mm-hmm. has like. I don't know, not not much, and yeah. I think we do okay. I agree, Kalen. What do you, you. think? They're on, they're on track for that. They're on track for that. Yeah, I see the quote from Hunter Dickinson regarding uh, Indianapolis was, "Man, we just can't escape that place." So, yeah. uh, you know, there, it's an eleven-six, right? Upset. I I think Michigan wins it. I I don't know about handily, but like pretty, like with strength. I don't know. I think they blow them out. But then, yeah, I think second game they fucking lose. Like it's just the rhythm of the season. It is. But they I think I think this will happen. They'll they'll beat Colorado State handily. It was like, oh shit, Michigan might have a chance to actually like you know make it this year, and I'll be that person. And then they play Tennessee, and like you know they lose. I think it'll be a close I, loss. That's actually a pretty spot on prediction. I think. Yeah. I think we'll one hundred percent overreact to the win. Mm-hmm. And we'll think that this is going to be like, holy shit! Like this is this team has got it back on track. We how many times have we said that this year? We've well, said I mean, that we're, we're count we're counting on two hands now. I mean, literally, it, after almost every win here in the last month, I've been like, wow, this team has finally put it together. And then the next game, they shit the bet. So yeah, honestly, if they. The, I think a success for this team, if they get to this Sweet 16, that would be like a wild success. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. I'd be thrilled. If they, if, even if they win the first game, I think it's a success. Yeah. That exceeds my expectations. I mean, it, it meets my expectations. But, like, given how this, this year went, you take an upset win in the first round, I'm happy. I'm content. It's baseball, softball season right around the corner. Hockey's still thriving. 
I'm all right. I agree. I agree with that. I think I I wouldn't even say meets. I think that if they if they win one game, I think that that is good for how the season went. Do I think it's good for what I expected going into the season? Absolutely not. We're all in agreement there, I think. But mm-hmm. with how the season went, like if you asked me after that Iowa game, you know, with one game left in the season, I'd be like, shit, we're probably going to lose in the first round if we make it at all. So yeah. the fact, but then in classic overreaction after the Ohio State game, I was like, They're yeah, back. here we go. We're back. Watch, <laughs> we're watch back. a run in the Big Ten tournament. <laughs> Dude, I said that after the first half of the Indiana game. I was like, oh, shit. We're about, I was literally texting with Swanky saying that. Like, what a meltdown that was. So, yeah, I, th- I think that's a, that's a good call. That's a good call. Um, all right. So, on to a Women. very important team. I, I almost said the more important team, but I'm not going to say that. Uh, everyone's Ooh, equal in my eyes. They might be more important. Maybe, maybe. I have more faith in them. I have way more faith in them. I like them more, to be honest. Yeah. Great. The women's team. Women's basketball hosting for the first time in school history. Highest rank, highest seed in school history. Let's I go. just want to give a round of applause. I'll tell you what, I'm hyped. I'm hyped for a playoff tailgate atmosphere in ann arbor dude that's what i'm pumped for listen any time that we have an excuse to tailgate oh. i'm so in oh yeah so it's in. not an excuse it's a duty oh yeah. i like that have to do that's got to be a shirt that's got to be a shirt right there like it is your civic duty to tailgate on saturdays <laughs> in ann arbor Oh, it is a Saturday too. Yep, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Three thirty tip too. Three thirty tip couldn't. I mean, the perfect. It's the perfect tailgate. It's the perfect tailgate. It's the perfect tailgate. (laughs) I saw that uh, baseball is playing at two, and I was like, "Shit, do we start over in the baseball parking lot and then carousel our way over to Chrysler?" (laughs) The only thing is, there's an eleven a.m. game. There's an eleven a.m. game, I think, or like twelve or something. Uh, baseball double before. Saying? no like at chrysler there's two other teams playing before oh, oh, so like yeah. we'll have to get there like early at tailgate yeah, like that'll be a marathon that'll be a marathon tailgate i think we try to park for baseball and just walk over i don't like know even, we'll figure it out even tailgate the women's game at baseball i'm not down i'm i mean i'm not, I'm not opposed i am not down not for down. that i'm not not down because although Got him. I got the words today. Um, they used to have a fence that you could see through in right field. Yep. They don't anymore. That's what pisses me off. Because what we t- could totally do is just fucking tailgate, walk over, you know, catch a game for a second, go back to the car, tailgate, then, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Here's what we need to figure out, though, in the next coming weeks with this baseball team. Mm-hmm. I, we need to, like, how, how do we shotgun a beer with the bullpen? Maybe we can get them like O'Doul's. <laughs> O'Doul's. Wow. Or like uh, for... Red Bull. They can do Red like Bull. Red Bull. Like All right. Yeah. We got to yeah. do something because I think we got to be, we got to be those weird guys in the outfield that like hang around the bullpen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's us, right? Yeah. That, not, I mean, that just sounds sad. Like you really put things into perspective there for me. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that got too real, man. That one. That one. Well, that one at hit least me. I said it. At least I said it for the baseball team and not the softball team. That gets that. Weird. Yeah, that would be an added level of <laughs> fucking weirdness. No, it's not weird. We're boys with them. We're boys. Dude, I'm gonna act like I'm still. You saying we're boys with them is even weird. That made it worse. <laughs> yeah, that made it worse. Oh fuck! All right. Well, we're not boys right. with them. We just pay them money, and they're nice to us because we do that. Don't say that out loud. 
No, like they're cool. They're cool, but like do we no chance we be friends with them at all. Like same you know, I mean, quiet part, you know. Should we just like shut down the pod, do you think? Or is it over? <laughs> Dude, I say we just move to Hawaii. Um <laughs> become what's the Hawaii's mascot? Rainbow Warrior. Warrior. Become Rainbow, Rainbow Warriors. Warriors by 90. And we just uh start over, you know. All right. Well, <sighs> I think we got. We should cut this. We should cut this part. I think. No, people like it. Give All the people right. what they want. Okay, so women's basketball, three thirty Saturday. We yep. are probably gonna tailgate. We're trying to find out where, but they play American. American is the fourteen seed. Hmm. Jade Edwards is their uh, their high scorer. She scores. What position? Jade is 5'10. Five, 5'10 ten. Five, ten guard. That's kind Damn. of tall for a guard as a girl, right? Mm, I don't know. Maddie's 5'11. Maddie Nolan's 5'11? Mm-hmm. You're lying. I swear. Let me pull up the roster. <clears throat> Maddie Nylon. What a great name. Maddie Nylon. That makes that me so mad. Maddie greatest. Nylon is. Uh, I was like adding more stuff to like her collection for like jerseys, and I typed Nylon as the last name like the whole first time, so I had to redo the whole thing. I was so pissed. <laughs> I mean, it is the greatest nickname. Like, it's pretty incredible. She's five eleven. Yeah. yeah. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say Maddie's five eleven. Um, I think Danielle Roush is like the only really small one. Like Layla, Felia, she's uh six foot. Dilk is six foot. Jordan Hobbs six three. Ari Jack, Wiggins. How tall small. are you? Huh? How tall are you? Five eleven and three quarters on a good uh, day. Three quarters. Never made it to six foot. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say I'm just glad. Girl, I... solemn six four. Six four. Sheesh. Really? Man. Huh? We got a. Oh, you said wit. Wit. Yeah. Whitney, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. I think we gotta. We also have to uh, talk to their parents, and we gotta. We gotta get a tailgate going with the parents. Oh see where shit! At. Yeah. We'll have to ask Maddie. All right. Um. I mean, I, I think I think they're going to dominate. I think. Yeah. 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 But I'm not trying to uh, – I'm not trying to overlook anybody. They have won seven in a row, American has. They've won 10 out of their last 11. So, they're so they won their conference tournament? They won their conference. That's how I think that's how they got in. Was they won their conference tournament because they're American. Um, I doubt ha- gets an at large bid. Yeah. So, what's their record overall? Um, shit, this doesn't say right off the bat because I'm thinking like seven in a row is a 14 seed. Like, I get it, like, you get the at large or whatever, win the tournament or automatic bid, win the tournament, uh, your conference tournament. Like they must have had like a they must have been like very so so and then just got hot. I mean, we'll have to keep the home streak alive. Twenty three right? and eight. Okay, so they were solid. They were good. Yeah, they. Yeah. I mean, they were they fifteen and eight before the, they went on it, right? Yeah, no, sixteen they, and eight. They lost the first eight. game of the year. Lost at Minnesota, so they lost a Big Ten game. Lost to Minnesota by it was seventy three fifty six. So don't make me do the math there. Um, mm, Seventeen. To, lost to Towson. 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 Lost to Boston. Bucknell. Holy Cross. Boston. Colgate. Army. Their lot. Their last loss was in OT. Otherwise, if they didn't lose that one, they would have won 11 in a row. So wow. they're playing good they're ball. I don't know, man. I, I just think Michigan's going to handle them. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. They got, like, 
Layla Feely is just like a breakout player. Player, she's a stud. Nas obviously is going to take over the game. We got shooters. I mean, I just, I just, gonna, I think it's going to be a non non factor. I think they win by fifteen. At least. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know anything about the defense or whatever. Oh, no. No shit. At this other team, but I think that uh, we'll definitely handle them. Did we have anything else to talk about? Because if not, I'm going to end this four a row. I don't have anything else. No. I got nothing else either. Um, all right. Well, we'll be tailgating. Um either at the baseball field or Chrysler lot. We'll keep you guys updated on social media. You can follow us at blue by 90 on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We are on the Mason brew network um, for podcasts and you can uh, check that out on Mason brew YouTube as well as Apple, Spotify, all that good stuff. Um, we may have another podcast coming up this week. Maybe not nothing confirmed yet. Might be a big guest. We'll see what happens. Um, but if we don't talk to you guys before, uh, this get next game for the men and women. We will say go blue. Go blue. Go blue. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs>